Good evening, Joe. We got Nicole down. Nicole, we're on camera. Now, come pop out, pop your head out. We're just about to do an interview with this other young lady in it. Would you possibly be up for a pillow talk at some point? Go, you're, you're missing out. No. Uh, maybe just to no, stand. So it may be. Yes, um, that is what's the point? Ask him, he's here. Yeah. There we are. That's, then let's get on with this. Hello, is it possible to get an interview? No, I'm just waking up. That's not a problem. I'm sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> we were like we were Tiff Cromwell of well, specialised Lulu Lemon last year. Mm -hmm. Are you going to tell us who you're riding for? Still riding the same team. Well, Cervelo, but there's another sponsor on board, isn't there? No, we've been riding Nicole Cervelo. What are we going to be called? That's the question. Very good question. Why do the brownie of Velocio? Velocio Sports. So it's a big. When, when's it going to be released? Well, it was supposed to be released last Tuesday, so that's what the email said. Slack. Okay, next question is, I hear you're also uh, contemplating doing a TV set, a web series uh, next year based from your Monaco home with two gentlemen out sitting. Yeah. You're going to be placing some webcams in there. Apparently my, my apartment's getting gay crashed. They want to come hang out in the south of France and head to Monaco, so... I don't got... know about this, I'm in a particular by apartment. It's, it's very girly and very everything. Okay, tell us. But no, you're getting it messy. We wouldn't dream of it. Only cute boys allowed if you're going to bring them in. Well, no, this is it. We can do pillow talk from uh, your your bedroom. From my beautiful bedroom. It'll draw the crowds. What's Monaco like for training, racing, food, coffee? Pretty good in general. Boats. Yeah, yachts. There's lots of them. Big ones and bigger ones. The training is amazing. The weather's 300 days of sunshine. That's why we live there. We've got all the, the Alps right behind us, and then you've got the coastal roads. So can't complain. The living side is nice. We've got a good group of people there, different sports people, and other like-minded individuals. Coffee, it's French, but there's one oh, or two man. OK ones. That's why we ride to Italy instead. Who's your best mate there? I'd be Lizzie, Lizzie Armstead. We hang out a lot. So, well, uh, yeah, so your best mate, yeah. Two different teams. How's that fair in races? Does it literally like, like flick a switch? Yeah, you She's know. A, an evil enemy <laughs> now. It is always hard because we do chase each other down when we have to, but you know, you talk rubbish when you're on the start line, you know, joke around, but once it comes to distance time, then we are rivals. We're not allowed to, you know, like the Commonwealth Games was a perfect example. Like, I wasn't allowed to do anything if I was in any mood with her because that was our game plan and, you know, that's bike racing, we all understand it, but off the bike, you know. We have our race head on, race head off. And Can you suss her out though, knowing that when you go training with her, going, yeah. uh, and not, she, she, I know she goes on these sorts of climbs. Yeah, but then she probably knows the same with me because we do train a lot together. And yeah, I know, you know her strengths, she knows my strengths, but it's one of those things like we can read each other, but you know, we still have to be able to match each other if we're going to go yeah. and try and beat her. And she's obviously had an incredible year, and I've been trying to chase her down all year, so. <laughs> Do you, do you get lonely while you're away? Is this where you've got your tether? I do, here? I do. No, I actually, one of my fans out here from Specialised Bicycles, Korea. His name is Brian. He gave me a little bear, so I do like my teddy bear, so. While I've, while I've been there, I, I've noticed you, you like the camera, don't you? <laughs> Pose is my middle name, isn't it? And hashtag, you seem to hashtag. you seem to enjoy the old hashtags. Yeah, it's because hashtag gets you more followers. It's all about being, it's a popularity contest, life. Is it? Yeah, of course. Oh, that's where I'm going wrong then. Yeah, so you've got to hashtag everything. Okay. What's the sort of, let's talk about a few goals for next year. What you got lined up, what do you fancy? Fancy Mainly. winning some big races. Strada Bianca will be a nice one. Flanders, everyone wants to win Flanders. Um, yeah, Nationals. We'll yeah. see how my next few weeks go, how my preparation starts to get up. So that'll be the first goal and then yeah, into Spring Classics and you know, the World Championships look like it's going to be a really great one for, you know, my style. So that will be a big goal for the end of the year. And, you know, obviously next year is a pre-Olympic year, so it's about, you know, keeping yourself in the right places, getting the results on the board and, you know, also just seeing what we can do as a team. Is, 
today's crash going to affect your training for the nationals at all? Do you reckon, or oh, you're all right? You know, it, well, it depends. If I don't win, then of course it will come. That'll be no. the one. I'm not someone who makes excuses. To be honest, it was a very light crash. Like it might have looked worse, but I was down, up, easy, no problem. Yeah. Not even off. Do you, do you, so this event here in Taiwan, KOM, do you come here as, is it as a goal or is it like, let's go and have a nice bit of, <laughs> good bit of rice, yeah. pork, stuff like that and enjoy yourself, yeah. is it a bit of both? Mm, well, you know, every athlete has a competitive edge, so there's always that being back in mind saying I want to go hard, but my physical condition does not allow that, that's for sure, you know, grovelling up that climb. It's more to be able to come out here, you know, have the opportunity to experience the culture. We don't do really any racing in Asia. So you come out here and also, you know, use my position as being in the the world circuit and, you know, the professional squad, or sorry, the professional, you know, level to help, you know, increase exposure of the event and try it because, you know, they try and work it to bring it to a higher level. And, you know, if I can do my part to help, you know, increase the event to get it to where they're aiming, UCI event, you know, it's... It's nice to be able to do that. Be neat if there was like a series, eh? You've got yeah. like here, yeah. they're not good in America. Yeah. Nice lot. Uh, Stelvio, Italy. Yeah. Washington, like Washington the United States. Challenge. Worldwide. Mount Evans, Colorado. Mount Everest. Mount Evans. Yeah, we could have Mount Everest as like well. Too. That'd be a bit difficult. Yeah. Tanzania. Tanzania. You've got um, Kilimanjaro. Yeah. Saxa Bank. Does a team, your team, do anything like that, sort of um, chuck you all on a boat in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> no. Well, because last year, which was what this year when I first went and we had January camp, we attended an ice hockey game, that was quite cool, with Lululemon. But it wasn't really, um, we'll see this year, we have a training camp in Manzarotti in next month, so maybe we'll do some fun things, team building things. It's good day, Do a lot of yoga. Of so, course, l l yeah. Lululemon. Yeah. So... But yeah, no, I haven't really, when I was with Ori Green, I just very much train, 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 train. Yeah. Those are the side, fun parts. Do you reckon that makes a big difference with the team then? I believe so, because, you know, it's the chance to be able to get together and learn your, learn each other off the bike, because, you know, on the bike versus off the bike, you know, you need to be able to create the team harmony and, you know, know how we work, not necessarily just on a bike, because that can play a lot into your team. And, like, the strengths and how everyone, you know, you'll know how... If you're doing something you're not used to, out of your comfort zone, how people react that way. So I think it's certainly a huge skill if you can create these, you know, team bonding activities and just, you know, outside of just your cycling and what you do normally. Spot on. All right, Tiff. I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to sleep. I won't sew your sheets anymore because I'll, yeah, I'll tell you now, I've not actually showered since four o'clock this morning. Yeah, I'm going to have to get, like, the cleaners in and change my sheets now, won't I? You have indeed. Oh, Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Well, yeah, with Nemo thing. <laughs> Tell me how.